Um, about the CN seed catalogs 2015, I just made a video and I told that uh, they have discontinued the Persian crest. Guess what? I found it. It's in page uh, 13. Crest under the title crest, headline crest. Uh, American land crest and uh, then goes to find curled crest, Greek crest. And then goes to my favorite Persian crest. Over rather dark green leaf and fairly pungent spicy taste. That's true. And 25 gram of it is for two pound 25 pence. And every gram contains 250. So 25 gram is about 10, uh, is about, uh, yeah, 6,000, more than 6,000 seats. Yeah, it's near 7,000 seats. Yeah, that's good. And if that's, that's, I have bought, you know, I think in 2013, but I have yet to see. But I will go and uh, buy the new one because uh, after a while they may lose viability. So I'll just go for that. But this is the only place that they have the Persian crest. And believe me, this is the best crest you can grow. It's easy to grow. It's not fiddly like this land crest. And... Uh, and uh, I remember my mom actually, when I was a kid, all the time asked us in winter to buy green uh, from greengrocers some greens for eating during the winter. And that was the only one of the only things. But besides the normal leeks, and uh, we have a tender kind of tender leek, Persian leek, you can call it. It's very smaller than the leek here. And that was the next uh, greens that we could uh, have in the winter was Persian crisp. All the time available in abundance. Yeah. Because it's very, very cold hardy. Very cold hardy. And it's beautiful. It's not a small leaf, actually. Uh, probably it's bigger. When it grows, it's bigger than the American crest, the leaves of it. Uh, yeah, very spicy, pungent taste. So, 2015 seed catalog for C and seeds. Yeah, I will grow whatever I, I like to, if they have it here. If whatever I like to grow, I buy from here. If they don't have it, or if I find anywhere, any other place that they had it at a better price, I will go for them. But first reference point for me is C and Seeds. In my in my opinion, it has worked for me. I, it's the best seed catalog that I could could uh, come across. Come across. Okay, this is the Persian crest uh, sown in the new bed on Saturday and today is the 30th of the August and as you see it has germinated one two it was late afternoon so we counted from Sunday yeah, after two and a half days it has germinated quicker than a uh, rocket even yeah all are germinating. From here it is uh, some radishes and radishes only one has germinated so far. So and the uh, oriental spicy leaves have also germinated. And these are the Persian crests I plant uh, I sown about uh, 10 days ago and as you see they have germinated well of course you have to keep up top of the weeds as you see a few I see a few weeds here and there remove them this is bindweed and uh, yeah Radishes are coming up. Uh, nothing yet from the. Probably these are, I don't know. Nothing from the parsnips, but we'll see how it will do. Parsnip takes a long time. So, one bit here. 
and another bed here. This is the latest. This is the Persian cress that I planted about four weeks ago. And uh, at the third week I started harvesting and I harvested uh, two crops out of it. And uh, yeah, it looks like this. At this stage even you can harvest it. I don't think that you can have from American cress any harvest for a long time. It just takes probably one month to germinate. And look at the Persian cress. Look at the quality leaves. And this is the second bed of the Persian cress and other things, another salad leaves that I planted. They are a little bit smaller. They are probably about, yeah, a little bit more than two weeks old. And they have germinated. They have now started to give leaf. At the same time, I planted these radishes, which as you see here, they are bulbing now. In probably one week, ten days, I will be able to harvest this one. So the radishes will go. Then I have these oriental leaves, all uh, planted at the same time as the Persian cress. They are ready to harvest. And this is the third bed of salad leaves that I am sown the seeds in the Sunday. And as you see, they have germinated. So today is Wednesday. Sunday, of course, Sunday e evening it was. So, Sunday evening up to now, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, today is Wednesday. So, in three and a half days, they have germinated and they've grown to, to this size. They didn't have much sunshine, so probably that was one of the reasons they didn't uh, grow any bigger. Today is the first time that we have some sunshine, Wednesday, 21st of the. Uh, September. This is the first day of the autumn. Autumn of equinox against the vernal or spring equinox. And I have planted some other seeds in these rows here. So in total one bed here, one bed there, and this bed here. So three beds of so far planted solid leaves for winter. And I'm looking forward for good harvest. I have also that, have some cabbages and uh, sprouting broccoli and other things. And that, uh, because they, they grow over a long season, between them I planted some rocket and some radishes. And just to protect them from birds, I put that net over it. Persian cress. About a month after sowing the seeds, it looks like this. Really happy about the result also this year. And uh, we had a good end of the summer it seems look at the rocket, wild rocket that's a typical leaf of a Persian crest Also, it was good for spinach. Persian cress after seventh or eighth harvest. That's the way it looks. 
I've sewn several reels of this. That area which is covered is also another one, which I noticed that is as in nibbled by something. So I tried to cover it and that helps. And they are not anymore suffering from uh, jagged leaves and cut leaves and everything. And this one which are here, as you see, they look lovely and ready for harvest. I will do as much as I need. This is the Persian crest that uh, I planted earlier in late August and I don't know how many harvests I had. I've lost track, probably 10. Now I'm going to harvest another one for today, Sunday, 15. That's a good quality leaf. I've sown a little bit of uh, um, later in October, and those ones which are in the seedling and four leaf stage, I've taken it to polytunnel. Now some rocket. These are wild rocket. I think about the seed from the Italy. Some of them also are from sea and seeds. Yeah, that was from the visit we had to the Sorrento in Pompeii. Seeds are much cheaper there, here yeah. they are much more expensive. I mean, a packet of seed which is there, one euro, here, in normal conditions, before Brexit or anything that you say, that costs several times more probably two three pounds which in euro will be would have been mm -hmm. about four or five euro it's the second bed after that that i've sown and as you see the Persian crest here is really doing nice after covering it's really well done Just take a few leaves from here also. You don't take the whole plant. I've seen people take the whole plant, lettuce and other things, winter greens. You don't do that. You let it give you continuous crop by just taking a few leaves each time. Otherwise, what's the point of it? And these beautiful oriental leaves must start red freely must start and since I've covered it the damage by the beetles have been reduced some good quality leaf Pak choy look at the leaves
I put the rose to my own thought wide open and because I, I scattered the seed not just plug plant planting plugs of seedlings and it has taken over the space between the seedlings between the rows and drills which is nice in a way it's abundant and uh, Beautiful leaf. Now a few radishes. <clears throat> of course, as I do harvest, I also take some of the weeds that I encounter. Okay, one radish. Two, three, four, five, six. Um, you can eat actually the leaves of the radish, so. These are not bad. They're a little bit of slug damage, but uh, I've just cut those bits around them. The rest of it is alright. So, this is the harvest for tonight. Some courgettes, some summer squash, some radish, some salad leaves. And that's it. I'm not going to cover this bed. Let it rest under the green netting cover. It's raining. It's beautiful. And the sky as you see is dark and dull. This is the latest sowing of the wild rocket outdoors. And this is the earliest one. So the difference between them is about one month. Today is the 7th of the October, and as you see, they are this size. You will see how they will do. And that's the other sewing. Which I did early in the, or late in the, yeah, October, late in the September. And those are the same, also this Mibuna, Mizuna, and uh, salad leaves, oriental leaves. And that is the spinach. The spring onions are germinating gradually, and the radishes. And this is a uh, Persian crest. I took probably 8th or 7th harvest today. Persian Crest. Uh, I had a review of the CN seeds and I mentioned that they are the only supplier who sells the seeds for the Persian Crest. And here it is, the Persian Crest. Beautiful leaves, almost dark green. One plant gives you this, one seed gives you this, lots of leaves. I've been cutting this for a long time. And now, it's just providing me with greens. Beautiful, pungent, spicy, hot uh, salad leaves. And it's interesting to compare it with the land or American crests. Which I have on the other side, I will, I will just show you. This is American Cress. It's about five or six plants clumped together. I bought it in a shop because 
it's so fiddly to grow from seed and uh, this year I didn't bother to sow from seed so I just bought a pot in a in a yeah in a gardening festival or something like that the local market these plants have not been watered for at least three weeks now and look the land crest or American crest how it looks and the same with the Persian crest that you saw before and compare it this is almost wilted as you see and the Persian crest I show you again Persian crest going on triumphantly it's as if nothing happened to it and the soil is dry here all dry these are end of and between them are garlics temperature here today <coughs> yeah it's now about half past four this is temperature wise two degrees above zero in the polytunnel Russian crests a very good winter hardy delicious salad leaf okay I'm harvesting some uh, Persian cress for eating for dinner. Not the same, just make sure it will not go to seed. Yummy. That's the best cress ever. It's a posh culinary master chef style. Green. They usually eat salad in London. I read about, read about him in the independent, I think. But now it's a hot thing with the Master Chef restaurants using Persian press. You must be careful not to take the little slugs. Okay, I'll put it here, but get rid of it later. Okay, now some endive. Some leaves, nothing more than that. And it's good because when I'm doing this, I see weeds here and I can collect them. Okay, the weeds. Now, some oriental leaves. Okay. Okay. This is mustard. Uh, these are all from the brassica family. I bought the seeds from the CN seeds. Take a look. He's a seeds merchant. Uh, oh, that's his rocket, by the way. And this is a mixture of the all kind of salad leaves. Uh, this is Izuna. I think this is a leaf. Uh, Leaf radish. You just eat it for the leaf, not for anything else. Okay. Now more here of the Persian crest. I take the stem because it may go to seed, so I just don't want that to go to seed. It's getting warm. The air, you can feel it in the atmosphere. Oh, this rocket, beautiful rocket. This is a mixture of the seeds I bought from the sea and seeds. I have the individual ones, but I buy also mixtures. The mixtures already have whatever you need. Again, oriental leaves, Mizuna. This is the mustard. Very nice to eat. And uh, I have some. I have some. 
I forgot the name. <laughs> this ready bit. I forgot the name. Uh, anyway, this is the red thing that they say is if you eat too much of it, is it's not good for you. It's kind of poison. But a small amount is good. They put it in salads. And uh, I will put the name later when I remember the name. Uh, hmm. uh, it was dead. Now I put it again. You see, it's... Uh, Come back to life, giving me little bits, <laughs> which are really more tender than the big ones. Exciting times. Okay, a few American crests. Uh, let's see. American crest practically is finished. The Persian crest is yet going on. Yeah, that's the salad for tonight. Just watching it and cooking. Always watch whatever you get from the local. Uh, I remember I see Rickman man eating the radishes directly from the soil. And then after a while he was telling doctors, telling the, him that he has some kind of condition. Yeah, Rickman man, please, Rick, don't eat directly from the ground. That is not organic, that is dirty. Thank you. These are the Persian crests that I planted, I uh, saw in the Late August 2016, and now today is the 17th of the November, and as you see, the leaves are lovely and grown up. Some of them are going to seed because we had a warm autumn so far, relatively. So I'm going to tip the cut those tops and eat them. They're very fresh. They're very juicy. Lovely. And uh, I found that uh, actually the Persian crest, compared to thing, the salad greens like a uh, um, racket, they're actually cleaner when you when you take them to for washing and disinfecting. They're much cleaner, and even after that, you you'll notice that the radishes and uh, little leaves of radishes and racket can have some mold on them from the time that they are in the uh, ground. But the Persian crest doesn't have anything. Even the molds don't like to grow on it. It's such a good natural heirloom uh, seed. I'm going to harvest a few bits. Okay, I'll harvest a few of this. These tips are really juicy and lovely. Uh, it's uh, November, so they should not really go into seed. So I'm uh, cutting the tops because we had a really warm autumn. And uh, ho um, that means that they will have a chance to grow from the other parts of the plant for a longer period of time. This is strange, we have very warm autumns. Very tender tops of the Persian crest, ready for eating. I take a few more tops. A really juicy plant, juicy, slightly spicy or hot, you can say. Yeah, that's the correct word actually. And look at the leaves, quality leaves. I take a few of these uh, rockets, rocket leaves. We're really having a so far warm autumn. so warm that I planted some parsnips and these parsnips came to good growth. 
Today is the 30th of the November. We had very severe frost. And as you see, this uh, Persian crest is in frost. It's frozen. I'll harvest a few leaves because I need something to eat tonight. But that is interesting. Oh, the plant survives. I take a few leaves just because I have to eat something. And uh, hopefully the plant will be alright. To my experience, they will be. Okay, now I'm putting back the cover. As you see, there's a steam. It's my breath. Uh, there is some ice droplets here. These are not drops. They are frozen droplets of water. They're frozen. And as you see, Persian crest uh, is also frozen. The whole day it was probably like this, or in the afternoon it froze, uh, was freezed again. And uh, we will come and later see how they will do. These ones at the end here are rocket. Let me just pick a few of the rocket also. Yeah, rocket, unlike the Persian crest, is a bit mushy when you touch it at this time. But anyway, that's the way it is. Persian Crest. Uh, today is the 24th of the November 2016. It's uh, Thursday. And uh, <laughs> I, I cannot say how much I enjoy, how much I love it. When I just can go in the dark, coming from the work, grabbing a few, um, yeah, handful of the salad greens from the, uh, from the <laughs> uh, vegetable patch, not polytunnel. Polytunnel ones are small yet. Yeah. Just take it home and just wash it and eat. That's that's such a joy. That's such a beautiful thing. And uh, okay, this is the Persian crest, as you see. Uh, very good leaves and very quality leaves. I want to show you an example of the other kind of greens that I grow, like this Oriental leaf, Mizuna. Mizuno is in the, being attacked. This is a good example of it, but uh, most of them are really badly attacked by the uh, all kind of creatures. They are in the same bed, the same conditions, nothing changed for them. But yet, they are not as good as this Persian crest. And I'm going now to taste the uh, one, just to describe how it tastes. Okay, this is a typical leaf of a Persian crest. And I'll now taste it. The first thing you notice is that it's juicy. It's not dry. Then a nice, deep, spicy, hot taste come to your mouth. It's deep. And then it fades and the taste of the green, you can feel it. But I compare it with something like... Um, Mizuna, which I taste now. Mizuna has a, has a strange taste. Uh, kind of... I cannot describe it. It's, it's not cabbage, it's not any... It's kind of bad smell, taste kind of thing coming out of it. 
It's not just these specimens. Every year I grow it, and every year it says it tastes the same. I already buy it from the shop, it they say it tastes the same. It's practically a brassica, so really you cannot expect anything other than that. But this Persian crest is really juicy. I have a hot, suddenly hot, peppery taste. And what makes it better is this juiciness of it. You can have nasturtium which is hot, but it doesn't have the juice. It's dry. Okay, this is a series of the salad leaves, and I'm going to do a tasting of them. This is a leaf of a rocket. I'm going to taste it now. I, um, from 0 to 10, if I want to describe the dryness of it, this is about 3 in dryness. Taste-wise, um, the hotness of it is 5. I have a, here a Mizuna. Is it Mizuna? No, that's not Mizuna. This is Mizuna. It's kind of brassica. I'm going to have a taste of this. Okay. On, on the term of um, juiciness, I can say that it's three to four. In terms of taste, um, hotness is about four. But it has an aftertaste which is not good, or immediately when you have it, Probably if you go for test, taste or instead of instead of after taste, is not very pleasant. Now let's try a Persian crest. Let me completely re remove everything from my mouth. Mouth. Uh, now I'm going to taste the Persian crest. Okay, in terms of juiciness, I can say this is about six. And in terms of taste, I think this is the hottest, about seven, I can say, from zero to ten. And uh, by the pleasantness of it, I can say that is also seven or even eight. Persian crest. Has a better taste than the Mizuna and uh, Rocket. Now I go for the Freely Red Frill uh, Mustard. In juiciness, I think this is three. In taste, mm, hardness. Four, and uh, you have to turn after or four taste, bad four taste that comes to your mouth as if you are not eating a pleasant thing. I don't know what is with the Mizuno Oriental leaves have this kind of taste. So far, I believe with this experience that I have done tasting video, I think Persian crest tastes best. It's juicy. It doesn't have any aftertaste or bad, ta bad taste that is unpleasant. And it's hot, seven. And it's refreshing. I'm saying it is refreshing. None of the other leaves I have tried here were refreshing. Actually, it didn't give you that feeling of refreshness. Refresh, uh, freshness. But Persian Crest had that quality. That's number one. Temperature inside the polytunnel is 23 degrees today. This is Sunday, the 1st of the March. It's quite warm. <laughs> oh, I see a wheat here. I have to collect it. And look, look at this beautiful broccoli. 
That is amazing. I like that. I will harvest it later. This one is the one that I harvested previously and now gives more. Ooh, one, two, three, four, five. That's lovely. And look at this Persian crest. And compare it with this American crest. The American crest looks like finished. <laughs>